what is proxy components proxy components are site specific components which are inherited from core components say we have apps core and the title which is a core component now we have my site under that there is a components folder and we have a my title which is getting extended from title so in this case my title will have a resource super type of title proxy components refer to a core component as their super type when customizing the core components these proxy components play an essential role for markup and logic customizations this is a size structure apps core wcm components for proxy this is the path apps my site components remember proxy component pattern is part of the reusable component patterns let us see the advantages of creating proxy components proxy components helps categorization of components in a reusable way better segregation it is a good practice to have sling resource type property pointing to site specific components instead of pointing to components that are shared by multiple sites this provide more flexibility and avoid content refactoring if one site needs a different behavior for a component customization can then be achieved on the site specific component and won't affect the other sites proxy components can be entirely empty if they fully inherit the functionality or they can redefine some aspects of the component let us go to the demo now now let me log into the em we have crxd so let me go and create a new folder and wraps create another folder let me create a new component save my title i'll tell the super type as core components version v1 title and i'll mention the component group as my site save the component now we need a style for this for that i'll go to very detail components i'll copy the style of title so that i don't have to recreate it i'll go and delete the my title dot jsp so that it's referring the core component so here you can see that the component is referring to the core component now let me go to sites i'll just utilize some of the very detail existing page now the component is ready so we need to author it let me try adding the new component here you can see that 
since this component is not part of this page template i will not be able to add it so let me go and edit the template now i click on the policies here you can see that my site and my title now you can see that my title is added here so now if i come back to the page and refresh Let me try authoring the my site. Now I am able to create and author a component here. So this is how we use a core component in a M6.4. Thank you guys for watching this video.